Hi everyone. So today we're going to be learning about continuous random variable transformations using the Jacobian technique. So the whole point of doing continuous random variable transformations is because when we're given a random variable x and we're also given a function where y is a function of x, we want to find the PDF of y using our given PDF of x. And to do this, we're going to use a technique called the Jacobian technique. The Jacobian technique is where your PDF of y is equal to the PDF of x, where the inverse of your function y is inputted into it, and you multiply it by the derivative of this inverse. And this derivative over here is called your Jacobian. So you can also write this out as the derivative of our inverse of the function to make it a bit easier. And you also have to remember that this inverse is in absolute value signs. So let's begin with an example. This example is taken from question 1.7.25 from the 8th edition of Introduction to Mathematical Statistics textbook by Robert Hogg. So in this question, we are given the PDF of a random variable x. Our PDF here is f of x is equal to 4x cubed, where x goes from 0 to 1. And we want to find the PDF of y given y is equal to negative ln of x to the power of 4. So our first step is to take our function y equals negative ln x to the power of 4 and find the inverse of it. So to do this, I'm going to set y equals to negative ln x to the power of 4, and this is also equal to y equals negative 4 ln of x. This is using our logarithmic rules. Oops, I forgot the L there. Negative ln x. And now this is equivalent to negative y over 4 equals ln x. I just take the 4 and bring it down to this side. And now I'm going to make this equal to e to the negative y to the 4 equals to x. And this is now our inverse. Our inverse just means that we want to take our given function and set it to where x is equal to something with y. Now that we're given our found now that we're given our inverse, we now want to find the derivative of our inverse. So this is going to represent the derivative of our inverse, and the derivative of our inverse is going to be negative one over four e to the negative y over four. The derivative of e to the negative y over 4 is just e to the negative y over 4. And by chain rule, I'm going to multiply this by negative 1 over 4. But I have to remember that I need to find the absolute value of this in order to use it into my Jacobian technique. So the absolute value of this is just going to be 1 over 4 e to the negative y over 4. I have to keep this negative in the exponent. So now, the next step, step is to just plug and chug. We're just going to put everything into our formula here. So, according to our formula, the PDF of y is going to equal to the PDF of x with our inverse inputted into it. So my PDF of x, my PDF of the random variable x here was 4x cubed. And I know my x 
is equal to this now. So I'm going to input this into this x. So I get 4 e to the minus y over 4 cubed times the derivative of my inverse, which we found over here. 1 over 4 e negative y to the 4. And when I multiply these two things together, I get 4, 1 over 4, e to the negative y, which can be simplified in 2, e to the negative y. And we also have to remember the support of our PDF, and our support in this case will be y is greater than 0 and less than infinity. So now this is our PDF of why.